EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Uptown Charlotte at rain-soaked Bank of America Stadium. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerge from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up. The lane opens here. He's past the 30 with the New York Jets. The Carolina offense about ready to go. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 35 on second down, Bridgewater. He was trying to get that one into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. But now it'll be third down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, Bridgewater. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. yards that time on the punt and the Jets will take over first and ten. The New York set to take the field. 34 yard line. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now first and ten at the 34. And right away, he'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. He was trying to find his tight end, Chris Herndon. And it's second down. And that throw behind his man, he missed him. Incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Darnold got a man it's Brashad Perriman that'll leave him with a third and two coming up they got eight yards there one thing we do know he's going to get his catches so as they move forward defensively got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second day second down pass play got him eight yards now they've got a third and a couple remaining now the first carry here for Frank Gore. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back deep, the dangerous Farrow Cooper. Nifty move. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Throwing again, Bridgewater on second and ten. 
Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Yeah, this is going to be a Panthers first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. And shutting him off, now open field. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. from just shy of midfield, Bridgewater. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. And that's incomplete. And that one off the mark, a little late with a throw. Incomplete. It's now fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on to punt for Carolina. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Now the former Terrapin, this is Ty Johnson. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. A gain of three, second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. 11 yards there, first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Darnold from the gun. He gets it left side to Johnson. No gain, and it's second down. They try to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Throwing again is Darnold. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Here's Braden Mann now as he's on to punt for New York.
take it at about the 36. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They've had it twice. They've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On second and 11 now, Bridgewater. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 16 yards of first down. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver there, Ian Thomas. And now it's second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for, and it's third down. They'll throw again, Bridgewater. Catch here, left side, Thomas. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. It was a kicker from that distance, 56, 57 yards. So many things you got to worry about. But I am a little surprised he didn't get it there. Yeah, with the way kickers are nowadays, we're surprised anything under 65 that it doesn't get at least to the crossbar. But remember this. You have to drive it a little bit lower in order yeah. to make that distance, and you also have to be worried about the interior rush that they can get their hands on it. So that's why those stronger kickers nowadays who can pop it up in the air and still travel and carry it, that's who you're looking for. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Johnson on the counter. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Johnson, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Back 
to throw Darnold. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Brian Burns. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Third and long. Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. The shotgun snap for Darnold. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. And this is too far behind his man. He missed him. It's incomplete. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on to kick it away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. And given the elements, this might have been what we would have expected, Charles. Scoreless into the second quarter. The elements have definitely played a part in this game, a big part. And I think that both teams have been a little slow to adjust their playbook and start playing to whatever their strengths are in these conditions. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. A first down throw for Bridgewater. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Bridgewater again. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Fourth, so a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Here's Berrios. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face and analytics will tell you try and score when given the opportunity the completion but they go in the wrong direction a loss of yards and now they're dealing with a second and long well, i know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football don't drop it but drop it there yeah in that situation <laughs> dropping it would have been better end up losing yardage even though they completed the pass as good as a sack yeah how about that although they won't get the same credit for it and it won't help them at contract time. 
Darnold firing quickly here, and that's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And it's third down. Now it's Darnold. Got a man, it's Mims. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. First down throw, Darnold. He's got Herndon, his tight end. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. To the air again, Darnold looking for Perriman there. He's got him. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This from 54 yards away. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Intended really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Jet first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Darnold. 
And it's incomplete. He was looking for Brashad Perriman, and it's third and short. Well, right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Able to connect with Mims. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. Darnold down to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But look what we have here, a sustained drive. And that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. To throw is Darnold. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gore into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. They did. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Now Darnold. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. This Carolina defense looking to keep him out of the end zone once more. Third and goal. On the ground with a tight end. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Taking it in from a yard out. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically. Because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. 
And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now, they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Looking to throw on second down, Bridgewater. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. Brings up third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Panthers on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and a mile. From the gun, Bridgewater. Flush to his right. Despite a pickup of 16, they're still well short of the sticks on fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. Here's Michael Pilar as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10 at their own 27. He'll start with a handoff to Johnson. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run. But this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense. But yeah, when they have a chance to run it, to do that a little bit more. 16 yards, a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first down, it's Darnold. He's got this one completed to Mims. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Three yards the gain there, second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. To throw again on second down, Darnold. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And it's third down. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Darnold to throw again. And that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Yeah. 
And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them. And they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One score game. This drive here can erase all of what happened previously. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On first and 10, Bridgewater into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And again, it's Bridgewater. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And he'll get it down here to the 43. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. To the air again with Bridgewater. And that will be incomplete. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts. So even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. And that one to the good run tally right there. He's been strong throughout this game, and there's no reason to suggest he's going to slow down in the fourth quarter at all. And that's exactly what they need him to do, keep churning out first downs. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Bridgewater. Floating one incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore, and it's third and short. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now Bridgewater. And the throw there going to be incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. A gain of four on the play, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. You can follow, you can follow, 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 
Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. From the red zone now, Bridgewater. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Clock rolling here. About to hit 30 seconds. Bridgewater to throw. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. Extra point attempt to come here. And no sweat. He puts it through. And we are tied here in the fourth. Seven. Turn Corey Ballantyne. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. New York ready to go again offensively. They'd like to avoid overtime here, so maybe they can work the sidelines, but then defensively, how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline? It's the old leverage game, and we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that? But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the sidelines and try and tackle them in bounds in order to run the clock out. Chess match here late. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. The New York set to take the field. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But, you know, sitting up here in the booth. Take some gambles. <laughs> say, let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now it's Darnold. Throw complete to Herndon. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. This from 51 yards for the win. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call.
So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. This from 51 yards for the win. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And that changes everything here in OT. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. This one fielded at the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Brings up second and four at the 33-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. So a big play in this opening drive of overtime. Now looking at a third and three. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Quinnen Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Here's Michael Pilardi now on for a very important punt here in overtime. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it, but they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done, now part two. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out in the running game. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. He's brought down Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Darnold with his first throw of OT. He'll air this one out for mid. This is caught inside the 15. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 15-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. 
When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. That's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. A shotgun snap for Darnold. He's got this one complete to Perriman. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a big play yet, amazingly, because of how far they had to go. They're still looking at a second down here. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Looking to throw again on second down. Darnold. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time, and it's third down. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass and you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it was really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that answer. It's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> In overtime, you have to be smarter than that. A personal foul just can't happen. Have to have poise. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Following the penalty, it's Gore. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Brandon, I'd go ahead and kick it right now. I know it's only second down, but I kick it and give myself a good margin for error here. Don't wait for third, have the extra down just in case. If something goes wrong, miss, messed up snap, anything like that, you fall on it, guess what? It's third down. You still have the ball. You still have a chance to kick. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just huh? want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters what you <laughs> wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.